two of the more common diseases that I see in my clinics are retinal detachment and diabetic retinopathy. Retinal detachment is a uh, fortunately very rare condition, um, but when it does affect someone, it can be very visually devastating. Whereas diabetic retinopathy is actually very common among diabetic patients with a third to half of patients with diabetes ultimately developing some sort of diabetic retinopathy. So retinal detachment can be treated in a few different ways and the choice of the technique really depends on the anatomy of the retinal detachment. Um, there are different techniques called, some called vitrectomy, some called scleral buckle, some called pneumatic retinopexy, and sometimes you use one or the other or a combination of them to treat the detachment. And it all really depends on the patient and the patient's eye and where the retinal detachment is. So diabetic retinopathy is treated in a number of different ways depending on how severe and how advanced and, and how much it's affecting a patient's vision. So in the early stages, we really just watch these patients, but also try to help them manage their blood sugar because we know that the severity of uh, blood sugar abnormalities affects how fast and how bad the diabetic retinopathy gets. Once a patient has developed some damage from diabetic retinopathy, we use different treatments such as injections and lasers to either stop the progression of the disease and in many cases we can actually improve the process, sort of roll back the damage and improve people's vision.